almost dropped the phone. Okay, here's video number two. I'm gonna call these one minute videos one and done when I attempt to try and um, share something within a minute. So here's a little bit more about why I'm so grateful about the car coming across my radar. So number one, in the previous video I said yes, it broke down last year, somewhat unexpectedly. We knew it needed some work. Long story short, I sold it for 300. Fast forward this year, for, in a miraculous way, the car came back across my radar. The car now has a much newer engine. It has a new battery alternator, new touchscreen radio, like all these upgrades. And because basically of some work that I was doing with the guy who um, bought the car last year, we kind of got reconnected and I ended up helping him and his daughter when it comes to growing their business and online profile with like you know their Facebook page so anyways I was just helping them out he had lost the title he had fall back up with me needed me to sign some paperwork I was like oh you have your own shop now let me help you out come to find out he still had that car and did all this awesome work in it it was gonna keep it and I'm just like hey you know maybe um maybe he would actually be willing to trade um another Honda that we had just bought last year that was you know, reliable and all that, but it was five years older. It's got some work that it needs done on it. So all that to say, it's amazing how things can happen even without you trying to. Like, I wasn't, like, wishing for that car. And on the topic of transportation, um, I will say I'm grateful, too. We have another car that we just purchased. We were looking for an SUV because, you know, we have the big family. Um, but because we got to be smart with money and finances and just be patient, we ended up getting a different car that is really nice. That's more spacious, not an SUV, but definitely spacious. Grateful for that one. But, um, yeah, law of attraction is real. I didn't, oh, well, this is definitely not going to be a one and done video. <laughs> it's okay though. I'll let it be a few minutes because the previous one was pretty short. But anyways, when I was first figuring out law of attraction and just even figuring out if I even believed in God. I actually, and I'm going to say I'm noticing my hair, my eyes, and my face. And I'm just like, you know what? Maybe I should have. <gasps> what? Okay, I think that was a fly. <laughs> Hooked up something, but it's okay. Y'all know me. Um, But yeah, when I first, you know, was going through a phase where I wasn't sure if I believed in God and love, attraction, and prayer, I just, you know, was like, okay, you know, at the end of the day, it can't hurt me. Let me go ahead and experiment with prayer. Let me just see if I can see examples or evidence of God. And so during this particular phase, I wasn't married. I had my first daughter. Took a break, a semester off from college. Money was tight. And I was praying um, for a car because we needed a car. And I was like, I did some research and I was like, okay, Hondas, you know, are reliable cars. Hondas are affordable cars. Honda Civic specifically are really good in gas. I was like, you know, God, you know, I would like something like a Honda Civic, blah, blah, blah. Like three days later, I see a Honda Civic on the side of the road for $3,900. Long story short, it was worth $8,000. So I kind of question, okay, is this, what's going on? Why is it, you know, worth half the price? But the guy was like, hey, it's good. I trusted my intuition. Bought the car. Had that car for nine years. Um, it was a steal at $3,900 given how many miles I put on it and just how reliable it's been. Long story short, you, you see what happened last year? It broke down. I was... Trust in God, though. That's the thing about life and law of attraction. When you trust, you know, life and you trust, you know, God, the universe, it's amazing. So car broke down last year. That put us down to sharing one car with all those kids. One small black Honda Civic that was five years older than this one. Uh, so that tested our faith, but we made it work. And because um, I work from home, so that kind of, well, at the time I was working from home, so that really helped. Um, so all that to say, yeah, a whole year later, look, I'm just like, why is this guy calling me? What's going on? I help him out a little bit, just, just out of the, you know, kindness of my heart, just because him and his daughter seem like they're really sweet people. And then look, I am blessed with that car back. He's trading it. Um, even though that car is technically more valuable than the car that I gave or I'm trading to him, uh, for whatever reason, he is being extremely nice and blessing us with that car that I love so much. So anyways, just goes to show that, um, ooh, my arm hurts from holding up that phone. And it's not just from holding up the phone, y'all. I do teach um, Zumba and dance mix classes. And so yesterday I, had, I did an arm track and um, yeah, so I feel it. All that to say, this is not a one and done video. This is a gratitude follow-up video to the first one and done. And I will wrap it up there. And I got to go check on my grill because I'm doing some uh, Japanese food. 
for Mother's Day and for the first time I'm trying to do some of it on the grill. I can do everything on the grill except for the stir fried rice. Anyways, I'm going to stop here. Y'all know me. I'll keep going on and on. So I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Law of attraction is real. God is real. The universe is real. Intuition is real. Flow is real. Life is real. Whatever you want to call it. It don't matter. All right, y'all have a good day, evening, night. Let me know what y'all want to hear. Let me know what questions y'all have. I am here to share. Alrighty, bye.